Grade 4 math number 72. Subtract common denominator mixed numbers with renaming and regrouping. Remember a mixed number is a whole number with a fraction, like one and a half or three and two fourths. Each one of these are mixed numbers. It's a whole number with a fraction next to it. Remember that a numerator is on the top of the fraction and the denominator is on the bottom of the fraction, okay? We can regroup mixed numbers to add or subtract them. One and one half becomes two halves plus one half, which is three halves. Remember, if you have two parts of something that's cut into two parts, it's one whole. So this is one, and that's the half. It becomes two plus one is three. Same denominator, we have three halves. Two and three fifths can become five-fifths, which is one whole, and another five-fifths, which is the two whole ones, and then a three-fifths, which gives us five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen-fifths. So we wrote, rewrote, and renamed this two and three-fifths into thirteen-fifths. See that? We can also subtract mixed numbers by renaming or regrouping a whole number into a fraction. 1 and 2 fifths minus 3 fifths. You can't take 3 from 2, so we've got to borrow it from this big 1. The big 1, think, became a 5 fifths. 5 fifths right here is the one whole one, and the 2 fifths is 7 fifths. Now we can take the 3 fifths away. 7 fifths minus 3 fifths is 4 fifths. See? It's almost like borrowing or regrouping in regular subtraction, okay? So, Emma had one and three-fifths candy bars. She gave four-fifths to Tala. How much did Emma have left? Well, here's the whole one, okay? That's the one whole one. And then she had three-fifths of another one, okay? The whole one is regrouped into five-fifths, and then we have the three-fifths, okay? So what we think is, how many one-fifth pieces did Emma have in the beginning? She had these three, and if this whole one was split into five, she'd have five, six, seven, eight of them, right? Five little one-eighth, one-fifth pieces. And how many of the one-fifth pieces did she give to Tala? She gave four one-fifth pieces, didn't she? So, the one and three-fifths, we rename the one as five-fifths. It's five-fifths is that whole one, plus that three-fifths is right there. That makes eight-fifths. Now we can take the four-fifths away from eight-fifths, right? So eight-fifths minus four-fifths, eight minus four is five, four-fifths. See? If we had five-fifths was one whole, and she had one and three-fifths, one, two, three, that would put her right here. If we took away four, one, two, three, four, she'd have four-fifths left. See that? You can use a number line to help you. Just make sure you've got your fractions split up correctly on the number line, okay? All right, well, if we subtract by regrouping, we subtract the fractions first, we rename them if needed, and then we subtract the whole numbers and make sure we simplify any fractions at the end that can still be made smaller. Can you have five and one-eighth and take away two and three-eighths? Well, you can, but we have to borrow an eight-eighths from this five, okay? The five becomes a four, okay? And it gives eight-eighths to the one-eighth, so it becomes four and nine-eighths. Do you see how I did that? It gave an eight-eighths, which is one, to the one-eighth, and we got nine-eighths. Now we can just subtract the two and three-eighths, slide that over, nine-eighths take away three-eighths, nine take away three is six. We know our denominator is going to be an eight, because that's what it's been all along, and four take away two is two. Now can this fraction be simplified? We have a six and an eight. Can two go into each one of those, or four, or five, or six, or seven? Well, two can go into both of them, right? 
we divide both of them by 2. 6 divided by 2, what is 6 split in half? It's a 3, right? How about 8 divided by 2? 8 split in half is a 4. So our final answer becomes 2 and 3 fourths. That's our final correct answer. Okay? So we borrowed an 8 eighths from the 5, it became a 4, and it gave it to the fraction. Okay? Let's try it again. We've got 2 and 2 sevenths take away 1 and 5 sevenths. Well, the 2 is going to become a 1, and it's going to give us 7 sevenths to the 2 seventh. Okay? What's 7 sevenths and 2 sevenths? 9 sevenths. See how it gave it to the fraction part of it? Now we slide the 1 and 5 sevenths over, and we can do our subtraction. 9 take away 5 is 4. We know our denominator is 7. 1 take away 1 is 0. Our answer is 4 sevenths. Can 4 sevenths be made any smaller? Can 2 or 3 or 5 go into both of these numbers? No. 7 is a prime number, so that's as small as it can get. Okay? Now what happens when we've got a whole number with no fraction and we want to take away 1 and 2 thirds from it? It's the exact same thing that we did over there. We're going to borrow 3 thirds from this 3 because we know it has to be 3 thirds because we're dealing with the denominator of 3's. See, it tells us right here. So this 3 is going to become a 2 and in the fraction spot it's going to give a 3 thirds. See? because that basically is 3, right? 2 and another whole is 3. Now we can slide the 1 and 2 thirds over, do our subtraction. 3 take away 2 is 1. 2 take away 1 is 1. And our final answer is 1 and 1 third. And because the numerator is a 1, we know it can't be simplified anymore. It's as small as it can go. 1 can't get any smaller. Let's try this one. We have 6 and 3 tenths minus 2 and 7 tenths. Well, we can't have 3 and take 7 away, so we need to borrow a 10 tenths from the 6. We know we're dealing with 10 tenths because our denominator is a 10. The 6 becomes a 5, and we give a 10 tenths to the 3 tenths. 10 plus 3 is 13. It gives us 13 tenths. See? Now we can take away our 2 and 7 tenths. 13 take away 7 is 6 tenths. 5 take away th 2 is 3. Now, let me write this a little bit better. Can this fraction be made any smaller? Can the 6 and the 10 be divided by 2, 3, 5, or 7? Well, 3 can't go into the 10, but a 2 could, right? So if we divided 6 by 2 and 10 by 2, 6 divided in half is a 3, 10 divided in half is a 5, so we end up with 3 and 3 fifths as our final simplified answer. Okay? So that's how you subtract common denominator mixed numbers with renaming and regrouping. Just think that that whole number can be turned into a fraction with the same numerator and the same denominator being 1, right? It can be turned into an improper fraction, like here, or it could just be turned into 1 like we did there, okay? We're going to continue talking about fractions. Keep up the good work and keep trying, and stick with me, and I'll see you next video. Bye!